Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been married for just over a year now. They recently welcomed their first child and are settling in nicely as a happy little family. For many, the couple's relationship came as a surprise. It's not often that a member of the royal family marries a famous Hollywood actress. But for royal followers, there were a few signs along the way that Harry would end up marrying the former Suits star. Just what was the first serious sign that the couple had fallen in love? Prince Harry and Meghan Markle started dating in 2016. Harry and Meghan look so comfortable together, it's hard to believe that they have only been together for three years. The couple first met during a blind date. Meghan was in Toronto filming suits and Harry was in town promoting Invitas games. Later, they both admitted that things clicked from the start. After the first date, the couple decided to get together again. Harry told BBC during the couple's post-engagement interview that he knew Meghan was something special, revealing, When I walked into that room and saw her and there she was sitting there, I was like hey, well I'm going to have to really up my game here. In late 2017, the royal family announced that the couple was engaged to be married. On May 18, 2018, the world watched on as the beautiful couple exchanged their vows at Windsor Castle. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle had both been in long-term relationships before. Both Harry and Meghan were in several high-profile relationships before they finally found their way to each other. Just prior to starting a relationship with Harry, Meghan was linked to celebrity chef Corey Vitiello. The two were seen together off and on and the Duchess even wrote about him on her blog. Prior to Vitiello, the former actress was rumored to be in a relationship with pro golfer Rory McIlroy. However, the 38-year-old's most notable relationship before marrying Harry was her marriage to producer Trevor Engelson. The two dated for six years and were married in Jamaica in 2011. The couple called it quits and divorced just two years later. Harry had a number of relationships during his early party days. His longest and the most public relationship was with then law student Chelsea Davey. Harry dated Davey off and on from 2004 to 2010. After the couple split ways, Davy admitted that the constant attention was just too much, it was so full on, crazy and scary and uncomfortable. I found it very difficult when it was bad. I couldn't cope. What was the first sign that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle fell in love? Shortly after Harry and Meghan met, the former actress parted ways with several people in her inner circle. Television personality Piers Morgan has repeatedly discussed how he was ghosted by Markle, noting that the two were close friends before she met the prince. Journalist Lizzie Cundy noted a similar behavior. While those around her may have been hurt by their lost friendship, this change shows that Meghan was completely focused on her relationship with Harry. Now it looks like Meghan's not the only one that let go of a few friends. A source tells The Sun that Harry's friendship with Sky Sports reporter Natalie Pinkham quickly fizzled after the prince met Meghan. The source says, she is quite rightfully miffed. She has known Harry for years and was not only his drinking buddy, but his confidant. But they also added that Pinkham still considers Harry as a friend and thinks that Meghan is good for him. She's uncertain whether the friendship changed because of Meghan or the palace, but thinks that Harry's new wife will help tame his wild side. 